Here's a quick walkthrough of the incident tracking application. I have a dashboard that allows me to create a new one, view existing, or update a specific incident. So let's just go in order. Click on new. And again, we can track severity, put in an incident number. Um, again, if we want to look at this from a regional perspective, we can do that. And then also leverage different account names. So. Um, I, we have a team, a uh, support team that uh, would be the initial responders, and again, they have the ability to escalate to various individuals. Um, I can put in, you know, updating with L3 support, and then I would say that, you know, whether the CSR was notified or if we need required data collected, or um, you know, maybe we're doing both. Uh, we can we can select that information and then go ahead and um, update that new incident. Now I'm not going to add any data to this demo, so I'm just going to go back to the menu, and um, I can also view uh, existing um, uh, incidents that are in the system. So what I'll do is I want to just do a, a sort by critical and northeast. So again, these are two of the different points that we can filter by, and I can see that right now there's two of them, and I can see who the CSSR the CSR is when it was opened and then what we can do is calculate how many days are opened now we also have running an, on, a, on a, a database server we would be able to view uh, that report um, but I just don't have access to that from this uh, from this perspective but again I can I can drill down and see if there's any high in the Northeast and again I can see that there's only one that's available um, I can go to the Midwest and see how many that are critical oops critical so again, it's just, a, it's just a way to access the database to illustrate what the, the various uh, uh, incidents that are open based on severity and by region. And again, we can, we can sort on anything, but well, we just wanted to illustrate that for this demonstration. So if we go back to the main menu, um, the, the, the assumption that we made is uh, these incidents would remain open until the incident was in like stage six, which was a closed incident. So right now, I can search by CSR. And this this case, let's go. I don't think uh, Killian Lucas has any. Oh, he has a couple. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't think so. So we'll go back to Jack Chapman, and we can see that Jack's got Footlocker, Gannett, Dotmar, and Avaya. Um, and I, again, we can look at the uh, the details. So let's go to incident number one zero zero nine. And again, you can see that, that gets displayed in the uh, panel below. And what I may want to do is maybe. Uh, upgrade that from uh, status 3 to status 4 and provide a comment associated with that so I can edit that detail and then just update the incident but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to change the data in the in the application so hopefully that makes sense and again that's what we've got so far and uh, we welcome comments uh, as, as you start to use this tool thanks